uh, Hector, uh, the title role played by Peter Mullen. We've already had a sort of little bit of correspondence about this. So essentially, Hector is a film about homelessness at Christmas, over which the spirit of Ken Loach hangs. Uh, the central character is the itinerant Hector, who we uh, we meet at the beginning of, of the film. His friends sleeping under cardboard. He says that he has to go to Glasgow in order to have a hospital appointment to get some test results, which sounds kind of ominous. Um, he then starts to head down south, uh, going via Newcastle, in which he may well be looking for family members, we think. The kind of the revelations come rather slowly. And then he finally progresses toward London, where he has this regular appointment in a shelter, which is where he stays every Christmas and where he has become something of a fixture. Here's a clip. What are you doing this fine Christmas morning? Because me and Saul, we know this little shop. Fairly local, it's staying open. A crack open this here, please, as a bait. Come down the canal with us, do a little bit of timber shiver and a little bit of plank walking. We'd love to have you. What do you reckon? No, you're okay. I'm uh, dropping this appointment this morning. A horror from my. Cheers, son. Thanks, Ted. What about you, Ted? Fancy a couple of drinks for your Christmas dinner? I'll probably be all right. Probably stay in. Thank you, though. So, Saul. Yeah? Tell me. Is it true? What? What he tells me. What's, what's he said? He tells me that you really did study to be a priest. Is that true or is he winding me up? I, I did have a calling, yes, and spent my time in the seminary. But in the end, you know, I just didn't make the grade. Too many extracurricular interests. Good. Coming out for a smoke? You try to change the subject. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. Now, the interesting thing about the film, which is from uh, writer-director Jake Gavin, his debut uh, feature, is that it is, on the one hand, a story about somebody in very, you know, difficult circumstances and very sort of, you know, dire straits, and we follow them through a series of, I said, sleeping under cardboard, motorways, uh, hospitals, um difficult uh, social encounters and then uh, ending up in a shelter at Christmas, which sounds like, on the one hand, I mean, I think the film is influenced by Ken Loach. And on the one hand, it sounds like it could be, you know, a very grim and dark film. Actually, what I think uh, really gives it charm is that it is... It's funny, have you seen the poster? The poster which kind of, kind of looks sort of quite smiley and says something like, you know, a little hope can make all the difference or, a, 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 you know, a kind of just can make all the difference. And actually what's surprising about the film is just how warm and tender-hearted it is. Now, I think some people have taken against that, saying it's not gritty enough, it's not dark enough, it doesn't have uh, any of the sense of, of desperation or danger that living on the streets has. And I disagree. I think all that stuff is there, certainly as... Hector's journey plays out. He encounters bereavement. He encounters um, both uh, hostility and friendship. I mean, very interestingly, the way in which the kindly gestures are dished out is very specifically located by the movie in places that you wouldn't necessarily uh, expect. And I think what makes the film is that it is warm-hearted, big-hearted, but in a way which isn't dewy-eyed. I don't agree that what it does is to soft soap its uh, central subject. I think what it does is to take its central subject. All the time you get the sense that Hector is torn between searching for his family, but also, so he's attempting to make, to, to reconnect, but he's also clearly running away from something. And one of the ways in which Peter Mullen, you know, gives you insight into the character, and obviously the writer-director himself, is that there are these constant wash and brush-up rituals that Hector has. Um, he's very fastidious in his cleanliness, even as he's, you know, literally going from pillar to post and from, you know, sleeping in disabled toilets uh, in a motorway cafe and sleeping, you know, with friends under cardboard. He is very, very sort of concerned about, about his, his his cleanliness. And one of the things that this does is it sort of suggests this backstory all the way through Mullen's performance I think is very very nuanced and I liked the film very much and as I said I liked it because I thought firstly it, you know as people are talking about Christmas movies at the moment it is a Christmas movie it is also frankly a Christmas movie with a, with a bigger heart than most Christmas movies but it's also it does have grit it does have substance it is a film which is looking outside of what standardly constitutes, you know, the Christmas. I mean, you look at the Christmas with the Coopers and all that kind of, you know, just like 
people of staggering wealth complaining and moaning and getting on each other's nerves. This does feel like it has, it, I felt like it earned the right to its subject matter. And I disagree with those who think that what it's done is, is, is being soft or sentimental. I didn't find it to be any of those things. I found it to be engaging and to be charming. And I like the sense of community that it portrays. I didn't think it was in any way patronizing. I think that the central performance by Peter Mullen is terrific, great support from the likes uh, of, of, of Keith Allen. And, you know, a film which, again, it naturalistic camera work that makes you believe in these locations, you believe in the story, it feels like you're actually, you know, that thing that they always say with movies, you're going on this journey with the character and following them through this. I, I, I genuinely liked it.